Welcome back. It's Wednesday, which means we get to visit with our friend Michael Babcock at TMZ to get the scoop on today's hottest stories. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly and Jeremy. Thank you so much for having me. It seems like it was just yesterday we talked to you, doesn't it? Did the weeks fly by for you? It, 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 so fast, so so fast. But I'm, I'm always happy when it's Wednesday. We're always happy when it's Wednesday. Now, and, Brit- and, wait, I was going to ask quick, Michael a quick question because, you know, he's our friend now. And I'm just curious, friend, since the weeks fly by, what do you have planned for the holiday weekend coming up? Yes. Do you have any big plans? I, I was thinking about taking a, a, a little road trip. Um, somebody, you know, uh, my girlfriend wanted to go to Utah. I don't know why. What? Or, or Palm wow. Springs. What? One of those two. I think I'm going to take a, a little road trip. I, I forgot it was the holiday weekend, and I just I just realized it yesterday, and I said, oh, my, I can't believe we have, we have four days off here. Got to go do something. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something. Just not sure exactly what yet. That right, sounds that's fun. Great. Yeah. Good to see. We just like Get to. out and do something fun. We're just very nosy <laughs> people here, Michael. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, you're not. We're friends. <laughs> we just want to know about what's going yes. on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, now, Brittany's back in the news. Brittany is back in the news, uh, and guess what? More drama with her dad, right? Uh, what else would it be? So remember, and I think we talked about this, it was earlier this month, Britney Spears' dad, Jamie Spears, had finally said, he had finally uh, accepted the fact that, okay, I'm gonna step down as conservator, let's have an orderly transition, and then I will I will exit uh, stage left here, and Britney can have somebody else run her estate. Well, now, uh, Britney Spears' attorney has filed new legal docs claiming that Britney's dad is trying to extort her on the way out, asking for $2 million. Now, uh, he claims that some of that money would go towards his legal fees. He's accumulated a lot of legal fees uh, over the months, um, but unclear where the rest of that money would go, if it would go directly into his pocket. And you got to remember, Britney Spears already has, and her attorney and her team, they already have concerns about where Jamie Spears has been uh, allocating the money over the years. So uh, they want to look into that once he's out as conservator. So the last thing they want to do here now is give Give him uh, another, you know, giant chunk of change in two million bucks. So they are fighting that. They have said, you know, we will not be extorted. And again, uh, and this has kind of been the, the refrain from Britney's attorney, Jamie, if you love your daughter, step down now. It's what's best for her. So, you know, the, the this will roll on and, and we will see. But again, Jamie said that uh, he was going to be stepping down, but now he's asking for this money. So it'll be very interesting to see, uh, you know, w- what the judge decides here and what ultimately happens with Jamie and, and Britney. Well, what it seems like to me is that it proves that it, it was more about the money than it was about his daughter. It seemed, yeah, it seems like it. At least when you you read this, uh, you know, these legal docs that they filed, to Kelly, I think that's exactly right. That's the picture they paint here, that you have a dad trying to extort his daughter for money on the way out. Kind of, uh, you know, that one last payment from her in, right. in, uh, in, in a way. Michael, I watched a video on Instagram this week. <clears throat> it wasn't from Britney's account. I think it was a Britney fan account, but they posted a clip. Yeah. I believe it was from her short-lived reality show mm. with uh, Kevin Federline years ago. I think yeah. it was called Chaotic. Anyway, it was a clip of Jamie Spears talking to his daughter, and they were having a great conversation. Like, he was giving her great advice, and she was listening, and it was a very good conversation. When he walked away, Brittany looked at her assistant and said, how can he be so nice sometimes and such a jerk most of the time? She said that way back in the day, before the conservatorship. And I watched the clip going, wow, that is telling right there. Yeah, very telling and, and may, maybe, a, you know, an, an indicator for the future, right? And I don't even think they have, I, I, in fact, I know they don't have those positive and sweet moments anymore. It's only the bad stuff right now because the relationship has deteriorated to a place where it doesn't even exist. But that that's a really interesting uh, video, Jamie, to think way back then they yeah. were having issues with each other. Yeah, I, did, I enjoyed the, the nice moment, though, because I was thinking, oh, right. I wish yeah. I could go back in time and save that relationship, you know. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, because at the end of the day, forget the fact that she's Britney Spears and she's famous and she's wealthy. It, it's, a, it's a daughter and it's her dad and it's a family that is now fractured in, in a million different pieces. So yeah. it's, it's sad. It's sad. Yeah, we know it's Britney Spears, but it's just it's just sad from a human perspective. Absolutely. Very sad. That can't be yeah. undone. OK. Yeah. All right. So what about Mike Richards? Oh, you remember this guy. So Mike Richards, we've talked about him, got his dream job. He was the uh, he was the Jeopardy executive producer. Obviously, what uh, Alex Trebek passes away, uh, sadly, and uh, there's the whole search and there's the guest host, the famous guest host that come in. And then Mike Richards, the the producer, you know, kind of the the uh, the, the candidate that people didn't see getting the job does get the job is the host of Jeopardy. And then all the controversy comes out from his past. And first we find out about some uh, an incident that he had um, on The Price is Right a decade ago. And then we find out that he used to have a podcast. And on this podcast, he made disparaging comments 
comments about women and, uh, and, and other people. And there was backlash and Jeopardy ultimately decided to remove Mike Richards as host, but they were keeping him in his producer, uh, producer position, excuse me. Well, uh, the honchos, the executives wrote an email yesterday to the staff of Jeopardy and uh, essentially said, <laughs> Look, we tried to keep Mike Richards on and we hope that this would all fade away and we can just resume, you know, our lives and make this television show. But as you obviously see, that has not happened and the controversy is still front and center, still being talked about inside the building and outside the building. And because of that, we have parted ways with Mike Richards. So went from having his dream job to literally not having a job at all in a couple weeks flat. Wow. See, I don't, I don't, I didn't read the comments, so I don't know what he said, the alleged comments or what was, so I don't know, but I mean, it, it's just so weird this day and age, you know, like if he would have stayed in that producer role, none of this would probably would have come out, would it? Exactly. No, no, I don't think it ever would have come out because he was, he was known as the producer and nobody made, you know, nobody paid much attention to him. It wasn't until he got the job and it seemed like people then really started digging into his past or people yeah. who knew about him but hadn't said anything because he wasn't really famous, you know, kept quiet and then they didn't. And, and, and that was it. Uh, it was it, like I said, it wasn't just a Price is Right controversy. Maybe he could have uh, survived that. But once these podcast oh. clips come out and Jeremy, it's 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 nothing crazy, crazy, but it's there are things that you could clearly say were offensive towards okay. women. And I'll look that up said. after. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'd definitely. be interested in that, too. I just yeah, want to know why Ken yeah. Jennings wasn't picked. Everybody loved Ken Jennings doing it. So, yeah, yeah Ken, Jeremy, Ken Jennings and I mean, LeVar Burton. There was a yeah, lot of people. So many great LeVar hosts. Burton, Aaron Rodgers as well. A lot of people wanted Aaron Rodgers. But look, at the end of the day, they, they wanted the, the Sony executives wanted um um, you know, Maya Bialik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's doing the specials now. She's just too busy, right? Yeah. But, but now they're trying to make it work with her. They have, uh, they have said we can shoot during our normal hiatus times, or we can we can be creative with the shooting because they do really want her. And if they end up getting her, then th this is the first choice of theirs anyway. So they probably wind up in a better position yeah. than with Mike Richards. But uh, that's assuming that they can make it work with Maya. Yeah. Well, we've got probably about thirty seconds left, so I don't okay. know if we have time for Amy Winehouse or is not. It, but there's yeah, a movie. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be quick with it. So Amy Winehouse obviously tragically passed away years ago, and her dad Mitch runs her estate. Well, there's this uh, production company that uh, is intending to make an uh, Amy Winehouse a biopic. Her dad is basically saying, no, we own the rights to that. We control her image. That's my daughter, and you guys are not making anything, especially not without our permission. So a battle uh, you know, setting uh, to, to be had there. Oh, well, I agree with him. I mean, you know, you want to yeah. protect your daughter, first of all, and she had a, tr a troubled life. So you don't really want yes. to put that out there. Right. Yeah. It's very personal to them. Oh, absolutely. Kelly. Absolutely. Well, Michael, thank you so much. Yes. I'll Thanks text so you for next guys, week. Have a great holiday weekend. I hope you all do something fun. I hope everyone's safe. And thank you for having me. All right. Have a great weekend, Michael. Bye, Good to see you. Tell Jenny hi for us. Yes. Tell Jenny hello. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye. 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 All right. You can catch TMZ weekdays at 5 p.m. Uh, and TMZ Live weeknights at 1.30 a.m. right here on Fox. And coming up, September is National Prepared this month, and we'll be visiting with an expert on how you can stay safe during a disaster. Yes. You gotta prepare. You gotta prepare. We'll be right back. Always the case.